Okay, so let's do this. It's a square root of um, 81 and x to the fourth. Okay, so we know that there's an understood 2 here. I, I should not have to write that 2 anymore. Okay, and so let's go ahead and break that 81 apart. Factor it up. So we have a 3 and a 27, and a 3 and a 9, and a 3 and a 3. Okay, so that is made up of 3 to the 4th, because we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we have x to the 4th. Now, if we wanted to do it the way that I taught you, we'd have to do something like that. And so, um, we'd have to do something like that, and so that means that um, to the 3, I have to do 3 to the 2nd to the 2nd, and then to the x to the 2nd to the 2nd. Okay, 2 times 2 is 4, and 2 times 2 is 4. Okay, now I can go ahead and consolidate that. And I have 3 to the 2nd, and x to the 2nd to the 2nd. So whatever is in here, I can go ahead and take out because there's two of it. So that's 3 to the 2nd, x to the 2nd, which is 9, x to the 2nd. But it's to the 2nd, so we have to put a absolute value. But 9 is 9 no matter what. x to the square, whatever you multiply by itself, it's going to be a positive. So I don't need that absolute value. It's redundant. I get 9x to the 2nd. Or we could just, well, not here. Here, we could just divide. So 4 divided by 2 is 3 to the 2nd, and 4 divided by 2 is x to the 2nd, and we have 9x to the 2nd. And that's our answer, okay?